all right hi everyone so i just left from my home to go to go to university this morning and i'm going to do my job so in this video i'm going to talk about two things how is the area near college how how is the housing situation because that's what someone asked me on the previous videos uh, previous videos comment section and then how far is the university from nearby like homes and what is the living situation here the rent the living expenses maybe about uh, specifically for the accommodation that's one thing and second question which was asked is like safety how is the safety nearby uh, university and what is the living situation safety perspective right so uh, first of all see this is how the area looks like like these are all the homes here like you will find every like every home in the same manner like one home here and then it will have some lawn some private space then the next home same like this everywhere right so this area is just within one mile of the university so if i go like two minutes walk from here you will see the university so it's just same like that and then oh i see some of my friends <laughs> all right so uh, yeah as you can see that is again a street it goes down there and then you have homes there right so every home is uh, most probably it is like two story or three story and then on every story there's like three apartments at least and you and you like basically rent a room in that one particular uh, apartment so that's how so that's how people live my example i live at one of the streets nearby which is like five minutes away walking from the university so that's a good thing like if you can find a home nearby the university that's a nice thing now for me uh, i pay 350 dollars pure rent and then i think 150 dollars in utilities expenses like gas uh, electricity water is free uh, in home so electric electricity electricity gas and wi-fi is the ex extra expense of your uh, utilities so overall i pay almost uh, uh 350, 350 plus 100 which is 450 or maximum 500 so for me living expenses utilities is just 500 per month and uh, that's like that's like on the lowest side and on the higher side if you find like a better home like this maybe because this is looking good <laughs> but i think this is university house and uh, yeah maybe something like this so the idea is the upper level like upper higher range of homes in this area will go up till like let's say 650 or 700 maximum and some of them will also have utilities included so that's the higher range of the prices like 700 or 650 at the max and on the lower side which is i guess 350 on the lower side itself which is mine so that is the range of housing price here near university and when i say near university that is like within one mile or one and a half mile radius of uh, uh, of the university and this is one of the one of the university building which is known as corner house this is international center basically whenever an international student come here you can come to this place corner house to like interact engage and get every information about international uh, activities because this is called international center so that's the thing uh, that's housing uh, also basically if you uh, are a graduate student you are allowed, allowed to stay off campus and mostly everyone does uh, right because it is cheaper more freedom uh, as compared to the on campus situation and no one i know stays on campus to be honest from the graduate <laughs> graduate people so I'm, I'm not sure about that now how to find home that is one of the questions again so i'll be talking about that and uh, that is basically i think uh, there are there are like few websites which you can actually refer to and you can try to find homes so that's one thing hi i see one of my friends here Hashim, how are you hi good just making some video about these things <laughs> yeah thank you she's one she's one of my batchmates and uh, yeah again so i was saying if you want to find home there is this website called jump off campus i'll put that link in the description or in the video itself you have to go on that link you have to see you have to select the area worcester near clark university and then you will find home listings in the near the near the university itself and then based on that you can select one room the whole apartment or something like that which i will demonstrate to be honest like this is just a general information but okay how you can find homes but i would actually sit and show you how to use that website in another video where you specifically see how exactly the website is and how you can find homes 
by the way this is library of our university this is so good like this is the one of my favorite places to be show on the campus like this is university library and it is big and it is open like most of the time so it is like nice i would give you a tour someday for sure and now i have reached campus because i was just walking and you saw like i just walked for five minutes and i'm on campus so my home is just five maximum 10 minutes walking distance which is a good thing so i can just walk by to university campus anytime that's uh two things has, has been covered and now the third thing is safety safety wise it is safe it is very safe like to be honest uh but safety is relative term like how is safety defined safety is also defined based on your actions <laughs> so if you are someone who is too much outgoing who's too much risk taking maybe you're not that safe <laughs> but to be honest most of them uh, if you're an international student you need to be cautious for sure right so if you're cautious and you are if you are someone who is taking preventive measures you are safe but if you are like too much you know you get my point but again uh safety wise i'll tell you that this area of university is definitely safe you have university police here and then where is that thing you will see that university police uh like i don't know what to call that it's just a button and everywhere in the corner they have put where you can just press that button and then you can inform university police if you are in any trouble i'll show you that as well when i walk by to that area but again uh that's one thing uh safety wise this is something that is there nearby university if you are on campus okay first of all on campus is very safe of course because the environment here on campus is definitely good inclusive you won't feel any kind of racism i think so because i have not felt that anyway till now but again it's just for one semester till now so i'm not sure if it's too quick to say but no kind of like no gesture of the of those kinds so you you might feel like uh, secluded or like any any kind of weird feeling i have not gotten that yet so which is a good thing and uh, others students are good faculty is of course good no one's going to cause you any harm unless and unless as i said if you don't ca cause any harm so there is no problem so in my experience there is no problem with safety and so those things are there then that's why i said safety is a relative term if you are not too much out in the night if you are just living nearby campus itself and you are always with your friends or someone at least to accompany you you are definitely safe but if you are walking alone late night in an unknown uh, place it is a little riskier it it's not like it's it's not like you it will something happen to you because there are people like obviously living here for years and they are graduating here girls specifically and yeah they have they have they have not faced any issues at, uh, as well like whatsoever so i know them as well so safety wise it is definitely safe if you are on campus but again as i said it's a relative term it depends on you as well how cautious you are how uh how aware you are exactly of your environment so based on that you are safe and then that's how it is right um what else so safe it, it is safe you can be here with no worries it is safe and uh, okay that's the housing thing i will give you a home tour basically like very early uh, very soon i mean to be honest i'll make a home tour so i can just show you my home and then i can give you exactly an idea what exactly to uh, expect in that kind of home when you live off campus what things you need to take care of and then why are you paying that much rent if you're paying so i would do that uh plus now i'm actually getting late for my job it's like 9:05 and my job start is 9 so I'll cut now and after the after the some after some hours when I'll get a lunch break maybe I'll continue this video and I'll talk about my job. So in a nutshell I work as a research assistant in one of the committees here and I got this job when I just uh, reached here within the one week of my uh, semester's beginning so that's a good thing. So I work here in geography building. Yep, that's where I work. All right, so I'll go for now and I'll share more information after my half shift. See you all. Bye. Hi, so I'm back after my half a day of work and now I'm sitting on campus just to talk to you regarding the RA job that I have right now. So a lot of you asked me how is the job opportunities uh, after your degree is done. That's one thing. And before that, when you arrive here, how is the job how is the job on campus? Like what is the situation of jobs on campus? So see, I'll tell you that jobs are not too much. Like it is it is less as compared to the number of students coming here 
this is my first semester here itself which i have completed now and i'm going to enter second semester in august right so i have been here just for five months so i'm i'm not sure uh, how much i can tell you about this thing but in my experience i have noticed that from the last one year the number of students that are coming to the university has increased a lot so when that happens number of jobs are almost same but the students are increasing every year so that is one of the reasons that the number of jobs could be less as compared to the previous year right so when i came into spring 2022 i think we had like 200 to 200 or 300 students coming like graduate students coming in couple of courses like msda msit combined i think there were like 200 or 300 students which is a lot which i came to know later on from other uh, like seniors or management with whom i spoke so that's one of the reasons and then so consider this point that consider this point that when number of students coming to the university increases the relative number of jobs will decrease so that's one thing uh, in my experience i got this research assistant job in the first week itself when I reached to USA like to uh, Worcester now the reason for that was there is a portal called handshake uh, that Clark University post all the on-campus jobs on so you can search on on handshake and once you accept the offer from university you will get access to your uh, email accounts handshake CU web portal so you can go to the handshake you can check the uh, on-campus jobs posted now remember one thing every job that is posted on campus will be will be posted on handshake itself and you will get jobs only through handshake portal like no matter which job is it is it a ta job is it a ra job or is it a uh, on campus cafeteria jobs or any kind of things everything will be posted on handshake now uh, that's one thing so always check handshake portal for any availability regarding any type of jobs right so you can start now actually you don't have to wait to come to Worcester and then you have to look for your jobs don't do that you can start today you can start looking which job is available apply to the ones that fits your uh, description as per uh, the job description they must have put on and then simply apply it and then if you get an interview call within a week well enough well good otherwise you just you can just drop an email to the person who has posted the job asking them asking them or reminding them about the job uh, job post and then maybe you can get an interview so this is how you get a job in my case I work at stairs committee which deals with strategic institutional research work that means it has a lot of analysis related work uh, like every analysis that happens in the Institute is done by this committee and I was lucky enough to get this job because I do have prior experience on uh, on the uh, platforms that they are using which is like Tableau, Tableau desktop and Tableau prep so I had the advantage of my work experience and that's why when I was interviewed I was selected uh, f uh, fairly quickly because I had already uh, an experience on that platform so it's always good to have uh, an experience and if you have it use it in that way so that's one thing now I won't say that RA jobs are easily available or uh, other jobs are easily available but if you have the experience and if you have the relevance uh, for that particular job description definitely do apply it and you will get it so that's one thing uh, apart from these jobs okay one more thing that TA jobs there is like teaching assistant jobs graduate assistant jobs these two job roles probably you won't get in the first semester itself because the requirement for getting a TA job that is teaching assistant is that you should complete at least one semester uh, you should have completed at least one semester and then the subjects you took in the first semester you should get at least 3.5 or 3.8 above GPA in that particular subject and only then you are eligible to apply for the next semester so probably you won't be able to apply for TA jobs in the first semester itself but do try for RA jobs that is possible uh, other than that there are many other op uh, there are many other on-campus jobs like uh, there is a cafeteria in college campus there are three cafeterias actually Higgins is the main one where everyone has like lunch dinner full full fledged eating things so you have like Higgins uh, cafeteria which is right across me in that place so that right now that building is Higgins cafeteria if you can see that it's Higgins cafeteria and that one here is bistro 
सो बिस्त्रो इज मोर लाइक अ कैफे इट्स नॉट अ फुल फ्लैज डाइनिंग सर्विस बट हेगिन इज दैट वन इन बिस्त्रो यू कैन हैव स्नैक्स यू कैन हैव कॉफीज एंड यू कैन हैव जस्ट सेट एंड चैट अराउंड सो दैट इज ऑल्सो रन बाई स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन गेट जॉब देर एज वेल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इन द लाइब्रेरी देर इज़ वन मोर कॉफी शॉप दैट इज़ कॉल्ड जैजमैन सो इन जैजमैन ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट अ जॉब डिपेंडिंग ऑन अवेलेबिलिटी सो डेफिनेटली रीच आउट टू दैम इफ यू वॉन्ट दीज कैंड ऑफ जॉब्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैन देर आर मेनी 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 डिपार्टमेंट्स मेनी ऑफिस एंड देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जॉब रोल्स इन दोज ऑफिस एज वेल लाइक ऑफिस असिस्टेंट्स डेस्क असिस्टेंट लाइब्रेरी इज देर एंड देन अक्रॉस द रोड दैट वन अक्रॉस द रोड दैट इज ए सेक दैट इज a uh, new student management center so there are also a lot of things happening regarding the new students coming and everything that that happen that has to be deal with students that is the building to be there and then there are so many offices in that building probably you will get a lot of job opportunities there too so i would say it's not a difficult thing to get a job here is just depends i mean i'm not sure how much is it available because even i have not experienced too much uh, but again if you keep applying definitely at least within a semester you will have a on campus job but again uh, i don't want to like write it like a stepping stone thing because as i said if the number of students are increasing there is no way they will increase the job roles because jobs are limited for sure so that's one thing plus again people are also graduating so job positions will get vacant so uh, that's the situation of on campus jobs it depends on the availability it depends how quick you apply it depends how relevant you are to that job description and then if you are you will definitely get it uh, that is one thing Th- these are the things about on campus job now there were questions about off campus job as well off campus job is not allowed you cannot do off campus job if you are on your f1 student visa so it's a legal thing see you can work 20 hours per week but that has to be on campus that's it that's the that's the written thing that's the legal thing you cannot work off campus and i would suggest and recommend you that you shouldn't work off campus for many reasons one of the reason is first of all it is illegal like it is not allowed to work off campus because that's just not allowed that's just not a part of your f1 student visa second thing it's risky like it risky in many ways the first of all you're going outside you're just uh, doing off campus thing which is not allowed so you are exposed to a lot of unknown places which could bring you into trouble and if you do you cannot even tell why you were there because it's already illegal for you to be in that space right so that's the second point is so, so that's the second point which is considered to be like not good thing to do if you're doing off campus and third thing if you are caught it could result into a lot of like 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 serious serious punishments like in fact like getting deported to your own home country and then getting restricted from the college i think these level of punishments could be uh, could be happening i mean yeah and second of all i would i would suggest you like as a student as a fellow student of clark to be honest i would suggest you see you are coming here to study right and if you, even if you spend like one year without any job on campus i think managing money is important but it's not that important that you start doing this illegal things or these kind of things just to make some money hourly basis and uh, and yeah you don't use your time well which you are here to study actually so maybe you can utilize that one year to study instead of doing off campus jobs uh, for some money so that's that's my recommendation but again it's the personal choice and how serious you want to take this so off campus is not recommended and it is not allowed uh, uh, to be honest that's one thing also the money wise if you are doing any on campus job maximum pay would be 16 dollars per hour uh, it ranges somewhere from 14 to 16 dollars mine is i think 15.25 something uh, 15.25 dollars per hour so the number of hours you work that much money you can make here but maximum you can work is 20 hours per week and i'm not sure about off campus how much they pay because i have like no knowledge and i don't know any one of them who is working off campus so i'm not sure of that uh these are i think these this is all that i could answer within this much time about on campus job off campus job housing situations living situations living expenses uh accommodation expenses actually living expenses i need to cover uh accommodation i talked about and this all is again 
a very overview and general information that I wanted to just make really quickly while I'm like while I'm on my job and just working and talking. I would sit down again. I would talk about each uh, each things like individually, like for example, how home tour, how is the uh, how to find homes. I would make a video on that uh, in the coming weeks for sure. And the next next video is probably a campus tour or. A campus tour of the whole Clark so I will go around and show you the buildings and places uh, so you are familiar with the campus uh, even before you reach here and after that one more video has been planned that will help you decide if you really want to come to Clark uh, it will I will uh, I will tell you about the living expenses nearby uh, ne uh, living expenses or uh, your tuition fees and then how to plan your budget uh, for the whole two years so maybe that would help you to decide because a lot of questions have also come because where they have like received multiple admits and they are confused uh, that which one to choose so i will tell you the clark side of clark sides uh, uh, things and then maybe you can decide that for yourself so again uh, that's all for this video to be honest and i have to go now my job has been like my job will start in again five five minutes uh, i had a half an hour break so i'll have to go back to the job uh, but again i hope this video was helpful to at least understand few things and if there are some questions regarding these topics do write them in the comment section and i will be again talking about them and i'll try my best to reply you on the comment section as well uh, post your comments let me know what what more videos you want to know what more information you want to know and i will try my best to uh, give you that information so i hope this video was helpful have a nice day thank you very much take care